Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we discuss uh, something opposite to what we have discussed before. In the previous lectures, we saw the SOP form and we saw the pause form. And we obtained the SOP and the pause form from the uh, truth table, uh, the given truth table. Okay. And then we simplified that logic expression by the rules of logic expression to the rules of Boolean algebra to what to a minimal sub form or a minimal pulse form but today we do the opposite we convert the minimal sub or the minimal pulse form to the standard or canonical forms okay so let us begin the topic is what it is minimal to canonical form conversion. All right. So first, first let us do the what? The sub form. Colors. Sub form first. So for this we have to note a certain number of steps. Step number one is that we note uh, the number of variables. The number of variables. The total number of variables, okay? The second is what? That we, do, we should know uh, which variable is absent in which main term. So we find the absent variables. Absent variables in each main term. And finally, we introduce the absent variables through the property what a plus a complement is equal to one we see how through an example so let me have an example a function y is given a plus b complement c a plus b complement c now have a look the total number of variables are how much they are three absent variables in each main term so in the first main term, we have B absent and we have C absent. And in the last, uh, in the second main term, we have A absent. So we introduce this by an A plus A complement is equal to 1. How is this? Let me write, can I write this as uh, A into 1? Because A and it with 1 would give me back 1. And can I write this B complement C into 1? All right. Now we're missing here B and C. So this 1, can, can I write it as B uh, plus B complement? And then the same thing, B complement C, and I can write this as an A plus A complement. Now again we are missing C over here, so can I write this expression into 1 again, because A into 1 would again be the same thing. So I can write, I can introduce C now as it, as like this. Or let me uh, cover a step over here. I multiply this inside first. So this would be A, B plus a b complement all right and over here for the one i can write c plus c complement and this i multiply inside so a b complement c and a complement b complement c now multiply this so y is equal to a b c plus a b complement c 
uh, wait a b c complement first then a b complement c and then a b complement c complement and then the remaining two a b complement c plus a complement b complement c now if any term is repeated that is this term a b complement c a b complement c is repeated twice so we need to drop out one as we know a plus a is equal to a so we drop out one of them and finally this y comes out to be a b c plus a b c complement plus a b complement c plus a B complement C complement and plus A complement B complement C. So now have a look. This one is the standard form or the canonical form, and this is the minimal form. So we have obtained the standard form from the minimal form, and we said that the standard form in each min term in the standard form has to contain all the variables either in normal or in complemented form whereas the minimal form does each win term in the minimal form does not need to have all the variables either in complemented or normal form so this was the minimal to canonical form conversion for the sub form and now uh, secondly we discuss the pause form through an example again so let me remove this example this is quite an easy topic isn't it huh it is so i do i don't uh, remove this okay i remove the heading now the second is the pause form the product of some form okay the first two steps are the same you find the number of total variables second you find the absent variables in each max term over here okay and introduce the absent variables through the property a times a complement is equal to zero this property is used in the pause form okay okay so let me have an example from the book it's All right, so let me have an example. I have written uh, a function f is equal to a plus b plus c complement into a complement plus c. Now have a look. The steps. The total number of variables are how much? a, b, and c. So these are three total number of variables. Absent variables. Find out the absent variables in each max term. So we don't have any absent variables over here. We have b absent over here. So how do we introduce this? Let, let, let me write it as here. Uh, can I write this as a complement plus c plus zero? Because anything or with zero is the same thing again so now using this property i uh, use this property okay from this zero the zero i write it as a function of any bit so how do i do that i introduce b through the zero this function is a plus b plus c complement and here i have a complement plus c plus b times b complement so be again zero so i've introduced that now uh, let me consider this a complement plus c equal to x 
and we have seen that a plus b times c is equal to a plus b into a plus c from the distributive law used a lot okay we used a lot so here this a is x b is uh, the same b and c is b complement so we put that over there so the function's value becomes what a plus b plus c complement times x plus b times x plus b complement now we do what we back put x back putting x what does this result in this implies that f is equal to a plus b plus c complement times a plus b plus c complement again now and then we have no 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 this is a complement plus c and then we have a complement plus b complement plus c let me check a plus b plus c complement a complement plus b plus c and a complement plus b complement plus c yes so now see we have all the variables over here whereas here we had missing variables so this is the standard or the canonical form standard or canonical pause form whereas this was the minimal pause form and we have converted the minimal pause form into a standard pause form through this property of the end operator all right so i'll be ending this lecture over here see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you goodbye